In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can make use of the Infiltrator demo by migrating content out and using it in your own projects. So if you want to migrate any of this content out, you can totally use it royalty-free in all your projects. And I'm just going to begin in this tutorial by migrating the character assets out and taking a look at how we can make use of those. So what I'm going to do is come to my content browser and under these folders here you'll find a character folder. I'm just going to right click on this and hit migrate. And it's going to come up with this and this is just making you aware of all the assets that's going to come with it. So it's quite a few here but I'm just going to hit OK. And then you just need to direct yourself to your Unreal Project folder and then just drop it down and hit the content folder and then just hit OK. OK so I am using the third person blueprint template and inside your content browser you'll notice you've got a few more folders now which we've just migrated over. And we're going to navigate to the character folder and then info 1 and then info 1 red shirt and then the mesh folder. And you've got two character meshes here and we're going to choose the one without the gun so I'm just going to click and drag them out. And the idea here is to be able to run around like we're doing with this guy but with this character mesh instead. So the first thing we're going to do is just click on this guy and then open open him up and then we're also going to open up this guy as well. Okay, so we've got two tabs here of these guys and what we need to do is do something called animation and retargeting. So we're going to come to this guy first and then come to the skeleton tab and then hit retarget manager. We're going to add in a new retarget source and then choose the info one red shirt SK. And then we're just simply going to drop down the select rig option here and choose the select humanoid rig. And that will match up all the bone names ready for retargeting. But there are a few that are missing. That's just because they're named different. For example, we've, on Epic Skeleton, uh, they've called it Upper Arm L. But on uh, the Infiltrator demo guy, they've called it uh, Shoulder R or Shoulder L. So we just need to match these up. So Upper Arm L is going to be Shoulder. And then uh, Lower Arm L is going to be Elbow and then hand is going to be the wrist and then upper arm R is going to be the shoulder again we're just going to match these over for this side that's going to be elbow and then wrist and then finally the last, the last one we've got sorry is the neck so we're just going to grab the neck and just it's just simply called neck okay so we can close out of this and that's all we need to do with this guy so we can close that as well and we need to set up the retarget, retarget manager for this guy as well. So we're going to come to the skeleton tab, hit retarget manager and add a new retarget source and then choose that same mesh. Drop down the select rig and then choose the select humanoid rig. And because this guy is built upon the epic skeleton, it all matches up perfectly. So we, need, we don't need to do anything else. We can close these windows. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is just retarget the animation assets over. So come to your content browser and then if you're using the third person template you can come to the mannequin folder and then the animations folder and you can see you've got the animation assets here and so for example you've got the run and the walk and they're, they're already built up with the animation blueprint. So we don't need to set up an animation blueprint or anything, we can simply retarget this animation blueprint all the way across to the other character. So just right click on it, come to retarget anim assets and just click this button here. And we've only got one option here, that's the uh, the mesh that we set up for retargeting. And let's just hit select. And that's successful now. So all we need to do is come to our third person blueprint character. I'm just going to open up the blueprint editor. Come to the viewport, select the mesh, and drop down the mesh selection here. And choose the info one red shirt SK that we've been working with. And then choose the animation blueprint class and we duplicated. Um, the third person Anim BP, so it's just Anim BP copy here, and then he's animating with it, and we're simply able to jump in now and run around and use this as a character. Okay, so this has just been one way that we can use the infiltrated demo content in our own projects. So thanks for checking this tutorial out, and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one tutoring, please do get in touch.